Hi everyone, welcome back to my garden in Sirencester. Um, another clear night forecast tonight, so I am out in the garden again. I am going to be foc uh, focusing on the Pac-Man Nebula. Um, first time I photographed this, so I'm after the HA data tonight. It's not an ideal night for astrophotography, so it's really warm. It's about 20, 22 degrees at the moment. It's only going to get down to about... 18, 19 degrees overnight, so not ideal for astrophotography. There's also a 94% illuminated moon tonight, so um, that's the reason why I'm going for the HA data uh, tonight. Hopefully I get some, but you don't know with these conditions, so fingers crossed. Um, a few people have asked me how I go about finding the targets and choosing what to photograph. Um, there's a couple of apps I use, a couple of programs. First is Stellarium, so I'm sure most of you know what Stellarium is. It's a computer-based app that uh, you can use to, um, to find what's in the night sky um, in your location. So you can put in your coordinates, you can um, move around, pan around and see what will be visible when, um, how high in the sky it is, etc. Um, so that's a really useful, useful app, a useful tool that you can download onto your computer. Um, the other thing I do is um, use an app called Sky Guide. So I have it here on my phone. So it's this app here called Sky Guide. Don't know if it'll focus. So I use this um, this app, and I'll show you on uh, on the computer. But I use Sky Guide in order to find um, what's in in the night sky in relation to my garden. So if I pan around, you can see my garden faces north. So I have a few trees in the garden. Um, this one in particular is quite high at the moment. So we're gonna cut that back in a few weeks time. But also we have my house that I need to clear and a few other obstructions. So for example there was one object that I really wanted to photograph this year, the Eagle Nebula which has the, uh, the pillars of creation in the famous image from NASA. Um, so I really wanted to, to try and photograph that but um, using this this app that I've shown you um, you can see if I search the, the Eagle Nebula you can see that the the Eagle Nebula just passes just behind just behind my house and then I'll have about half an hour before it went behind the tree over the other side so really not enough time um, to, to capture to capture any data the Pac-Man Nebula on the other hand um, clears the top of my tree in the back garden around 8, eight o'clock ish um, and just gets higher in the sky as the night goes on so when I start shooting about quarter to eleven it should be nice and high off the horizon and it just gets higher as the night goes on so so excellent um, location in the sky at the moment this time of the year So completely clear everywhere in the sky. As you can see, there's the Big Dipper. Clear everywhere. However, on the horizon, crazy thunderstorm. No rain. No cloud really, apart from on the horizon. Forecast completely clear all night. Just an absolutely crazy thunderstorm. Never seen anything like this before. Just completely lying up the sky. As you can see up here, 
nice and clear. This is pretty much the only view I can give you from my window at the moment, I'm afraid. But most of the sky completely clear. Horizon looks like that. So I was all set up outside, as you can see. Just about to see if I can focus. My uh, scope's now undercover. Not sure if we're taking any photos tonight. So it's been exactly one month since starting the Pac-Man Nebula. I collected the HA data on the 4th of August, it's now the 4th of September, um, and the weather's just been so bad, so much cloud, so much rain, that I've just not been able to get out in the garden. There were a couple of clear nights, but they happened to be uh, during nights when I was away visiting family, so I haven't been able to collect any data at all. It's a full moon tonight, so I'm trying to shoot the sulphur. Um, filter and um, hopefully I can collect some data. It's still cloudy at the moment although the cloud is clearing um, and it's supposed to clear by about 11 o'clock and then stay clear all night so hopefully I can get some good data on this. Hopefully the full moon's not too much of an issue. Um, yeah fingers crossed I can finally get some data and then just have to wait for another clear night with less of a moon to collect the, uh, the oxygen. Um, fingers crossed. I'll let you know. Like I say, always put the photos over the end. Uh, please let me know your comments.